astronauts and the coconut crisis. Oh, almost finished packing. Me spyglass, me ball of wool, and me copy of True Tales for Pirates. Try these, mateys. <laughs> for a couple of days holiday on Coconut Crab Island. Have a nice relaxing time, Quasi. And we'll see you back aboard the Octopod in two days. Aye, aye, Captain. And don't forget to take the emergency button. If you run into any trouble, you'll be able to sound the Octo Alert. <laughs> what kind of trouble could I possibly run into napping in a hammock, sipping coconut milk from a straw? Well, just in case. Because you never can tell, Quasi. <laughs> See you later, matey! Welcome back to Coconut Crab Island. No better place to drop anchor and relax, Claude. You remember my wife, Claudette, and my three sons, Clyde, Clem and Clarence? Can I show Quasi his hammock, please? Can I? Can I? Hey? All right, Clarence, but make sure you don't bother him too much. I won't. I promise. Right this way. Yow. <laughs> now to settle down with true tales for pirates. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Ahoy, matey. <laughs> what can I do for you? I just love a good pirate story. Do you now? Well, just hop on up and I'll read you the story of Long John Catspaw, the fiercest pirate that ever sailed the seven seas. Oh, wow! I even bought my own special piratey coconut. <laughs> that sure is a piratey coconut if ever I saw one, matey. So, Long John Catspaw looked through his spyglass and saw something unlike he'd ever seen before. Shiver me whiskers! Somebody swiped me coconut! Maybe Long John Catsball came and took it! No pirate worth his sea salt would steal a sleeping pirate's coconut! It's against the pirate code! And it's too easy. Have you two seen any scurvy coconut thieves on the island? Coconut thieves? Who oh, would steal a coconut? It's just us crabs. You probably dropped it in your sleep and it fell into the water. Here, have another coconut and forget about it. OK, but I still think there's a coconut thief on this island. If only we could catch him. Hi, matey. We'll set a trap and catch him in the act. I'll show this sneaky thief you can't steal a coconut from a sleeping pirate and get away with it. Yeah, because a real pirate is really smart. Aye, matey. A pirate is always one step ahead of the rest. You're... Quasi, are you all right? Uh, never saw that coming. <laughs> what? That scurvy thief even took me fake coconut head. Oh, no. And my special pirate coconut shell. Clarence, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Quasi. Quasi. Coconuts. I mean, octonuts. Oh, octonauts. To Coconut Crab Island. <laughs> Sounded the octo alert, but you didn't say why. Somebody's been stealing Quasi's coconuts. And that's not all. Somebody's stealing our coconuts too. And the scurvy thief even took Clarence's special coconut shell. The one that he marked like a pirate. Oh, your special coconut? How will you ever fall asleep? How will any of us sleep knowing there's a thief on the island? I. That thief has really crossed the coconut line. Stealing coconuts from innocent little coconut crabs is downright mean. We're going to catch that thief and recover the stolen coconuts. But the thief could be hiding anywhere. 
then we'll just have to play a little game of hide and seek to find that sneak. Captain, the missing coconuts have to be somewhere around here. They're not just flying away. Maybe not, but they're flying back. Shiver me whiskers. Looks like that scurvy thief is hiding under the water. And we can't go after them because coconut cribs can't swim. Don't worry, Octonauts can. Quasi, Peso, let's search the water. Now, where would somebody hide a secret stash of stolen coconuts? Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. Captain, I found a teeny tiny coconut. You found more than one, Peso. We found them all. But where's the thief? No sign of him, but at least we can return the coconuts to our crab friends. Our coconuts! <sighs> but no sign of my special coconut. You wouldn't happen to me. This little coconut, would you? <laughs> my special pirate coconut! You found it! Oh, of course I did. I'm a pirate! But... Where did the other half come from? Shiver me whiskers! That coconut has a mind of its own! <gasps> it's also got eyes of its own! I've got this! A vast day, me! Hold on! I'm on the trail of the coconut thief! He's an octopus and he's walking on two tentacles! He's headed for the rocks. Stay with him, Quasi. Peso and I will join you there. Oh, coconuts. Ooh. So, you want to play, do ya? Um, Where's our thief? The scallywag is hiding in one of these here coconuts. <laughs> Where'd you go? Just missed him. <laughs> oh. He's beating us at this game. Then it's time to try a new plan. Right you are, Captain. We'll just have to smash all these coconuts to smithereens. Uh, maybe not, Quasi. I have another idea. If we take one of his stolen coconuts, he's sure to come after it. Good idea, Captain. This octopus does seem to be rather attached to the coconuts. Hmm. Attached to the coconuts. <laughs> Is the coconut secure? Ow! Yes, Captain. Sorry, Quasi. I just hope my tail is secure. All right. Quasi, when the thief goes for the coconut, we should be able to catch him. Now, start swimming. Nice and slow. I'm not a coconut thief, I'm a coconut octopus. What's the difference? I use coconut shells to hide in. That's how a coconut octopus stays safe. Watch! Shiver me whiskers. That looks just like a regular coconut. That's clever. You're using coconut shells as a kind of tool. You like it, huh? Hey, it's the ultimate in octopus protection. It's like my very own shell. Ooh, uh -huh. I can see why you need those coconuts. So, you like to hide inside the coconuts. But what was the idea of throwing them back on shore and bonking me on the head? Sorry, but all the coconuts hadn't been cracked. I was trying to break them open by tossing them on shore. I guess it's not his fault that your head turned out to be a good coconut cracker. Well, Quasi is a bit hard-headed. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. But I don't suppose you need all of these coconuts. I guess not. Just need a few good ones to hide in, and I could use a little help cracking them open. I think we may be able to help you out. Really? Yippee! Here you go, Clarence. My special coconut! I thought I'd never see it again. Nah, I'd never let a fellow pirate down. So, Claude, do we have a deal? We'll be happy to crack some coconuts and throw them into the water for the little octopus. Yep, if he doesn't steal any more from us. <laughs> oh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> <laughs>